A Nike bag, that's a good sign. Martin Man. Martin Man. Treasures. Hey guys, what's going on? Troy and Mountain Man Treasure here. And uh, well, yeah, you saw. We've got a storage unit, the first storage unit that we purchased, first of many. But uh, you know what? Full time now. Got to start trying new stuff. So uh, yeah, went and purchased a storage unit here at uh, one of our U-Hauls in town. It's not very big, uh, and, and that's what I wanted. I had to pay up a little bit more than what I wanted with uh, the fees and everything. We ended up being one hundred three fifty. Paid ninety plus the fees for uh, for the unit for the online auction, and uh, I, I think we'll do okay. It's more than I wanted to pay. But uh, there's uh, a couple things in here, at least that I saw from the picture that I think we can make that money back on. And then it's whatever else we find in here. So a little bit dark, apologize, no, uh, no light in here. But uh, let's go through the stuff. We'll see what we just bought. All right, so the first thing that I wanna look at, uh, I guess is over here. This is what I saw in the picture. This little thing is pretty good. And I'll have to obviously take it home. We'll have to test it out. But uh, this little guy ought to, this little mixer, recorder, this uh, this Ross 4x4, uh, relatively rare, I think. Doesn't come up a ton, at least certainly with uh, with this guy. And uh, it should go, if it works, for I think about 100 bucks. So this should pretty much pay for our unit. Everything has a model number, right? GPX under cabinet. AM, FM, radio, and LCD TV. It's got a model number on there. So, easy enough to look up. Um, no mounting hardware, which is a bummer. That usually cuts way down on the value. Sometimes makes it not even worth it. So, we'll see. All right. I want to... this actually let's just look at what's right by my feet here we've been oh, we got cards these look like they're pretty modern tops 2013 here pretty cool some x-man cards hmm. oh we got turtles cards nice okay so there's a lot to go through there that'll be fun a nike bag that's a good sign Bugatti, huh? Some exotic car magazines. This is all magazines, so it's probably going to weigh a ton. 90, 91. I'm cutting it. That's cool. Old Iverson. All right, so we got some magazines to flip through. Let's see what else we got. Over here, this is where I was hoping my money was. You know, we had the unit down here, the mixer. I thought, you know, if the mixer can pay for it, then this is our profit. I didn't know what else was in here. So, I couldn't tell anything about it from the pictures. It was pretty awful pictures. But this thing looks to be in pretty good shape. We're going to leave the, uh, the mystery garbage bag until the rest, I think. Got a late bar here. Here we got Slam Dunk. This is actually like a cardboard pennant, which is weird. 
We do unfortunately have a mattress in here we gotta deal with, but it's small. Uh, I saw that in the listing, but it obviously it's small, so I can get rid of that pretty easily. Got tent there. Little dome tent and that feels like it's in there. That's nice. Another little tent. So there's some bucks right there. Those are probably easy local flips. Oh, we got you know, we got some Nikes. A Nike bag, that's a good sign. Alright, let's look at this one first. Let's see what we got. And I'm gonna have to go through these later and show you. I am not a sneakerhead guy, so I'm gonna have to do my research on these. Could not see these in the picture, so did not know that we had these in here. And we got some Jordans. These are trashed. But still some Jordans. Some Adidas here. That's the other other side. Y'all, I think we did okay. These are in decent shape. We got both of them here. Nice. What else we got here? Those are rotting away. From, I can feel the bottom has come off, basically. Another pair. These are scuffed, but still. Little cans. Jordans. Some more small. Box one's good. All right, what do we got here? Got more shoes. All right, let's see. Yeah, some more Nikes, guys. Very clean. Told you that Nike bag was a good sign, right? A Nike bag, that's a good sign. Look at that, we got some Carolina blue going there. Oh, I'm banned. Old NBA sweatband, that's pretty cool. Itty bitty Jordans, guys. Super clean. All right, you guys, I think I've seen some of these. I don't know if there's a match in here. So when I get home, I'm gonna have to take them all out and make sure that everything matches. But we got some six shoes in here. These I'm thinking are card boxes. It's like a memory foam mattress, actually. These are, okay, so sports cards here. They don't, for the most part, look particularly old. I mean, these are 1986, right there. Looks like football. And then this one. More cards. Got a Weber. Got some cars in here. Different. So, we got some cards to go through. There are some that he's got in loaders here. Jefferson Airplane. So it's not just sports cards. I will have to probably at least briefly flip through them. It's a magic card. And this one is Ray Allen. Vince Carter. Well, we got Fred Corey on the back. 
from Cinderella. This is a Larry Johnson. There we got a Sonics card. How about that, Kemp from the Sonics? Rookie card. Hardaway. Another Hardaway. Another Anthony Hardaway. And we got a Pippin. Fleer Ultra Pippin. Look at that. There's a Larry Bird. And a Tony Kukoc. And a Tim Duncan. Charles Barkley. So there may actually be some decent cards in here. All right. Now we got what? Pierre Cardin tie. Still new, actually. Some Tascam headphones. Whatever. There's a PlayStation remote in here. That's worth a couple bucks in there. Rainbow Room. Alright. There's some more Jordans in there. Pretty trashed. We'll open the poster at home. We'll see what that is. New Jersey plate. And more cards in here. Looks like these were just thrown in, so I don't know that he cared about these all too much. And here, oh, these might be good. Pacer. Yeah. And these actually, they're Nike. They got a Nike swoosh stitched on there. That's wild. I mean, they're not Nikes, but somebody went and stitched their own swoosh on there. Um, there's probably trash in here. I'll keep, the, keep the milk crate. These are all just recorded. Well, there might be some CDs in here, too. Jay-Z. A VH1. Yeah. I'll sift through them, but... Mostly recorded music in here. Yeah. Pretty much trash. Now it's mystery bag time. Oh, more shoes, guys. These are falling apart, too, unfortunately. He was somewhat of a collector, but see, I mean, that's straight up coming off. It's too bad. Maybe that's why they're in here. Maybe these are the ones that are trashed. I don't know. So, guys, it's now about, uh, well, not quite a week later after me getting that unit and, and working to clear it out and everything. I've got a, a, a lot of the stuff listed. We had to make one small dump run. There was some trash in there, and that's going to happen when you buy storage lockers, right? Storage units. There's going to be garbage. So you got to make sure that when you get what you get into... Is something you can handle. That's why I took something small. I, I looked at the stuff and thought, you know what, this amount of stuff I can handle. I can deal with that. And even that, it, it, it's a lot of stuff all at once. Uh, so I did make a dump run, got rid of some of that stuff. Um, the shoes, I'll put them up over here because I've listed a lot of them. A lot of them are kids' shoes, actually, but but they sell. You know, I've actually already sold three pair, though. Two of those are on their way to the customer, and one of them is, uh, I, I guess, at some point headed back to me. Uh, they, they, they got it and immediately wated to return them because uh, they, they realized, I, actually, to be fair, they sent me a message after they were already in transit and said, hey, are these size 9C? Because I swear I was looking at size 9C shoes, and I don't need size 7C. No. I mean, I double checked and, you know, the listing had it correct. The photos, uh, you know, had it correct, obviously, and said, no, these these are seven. And so when they got it, they immediately filed for a return. Now, it's a uh, mistaken buy on their part. So I'm not going to have to issue a refund on the initial shipping, right? Because that was their mistake, you know. So I will refund the, the purchase price of the shoes once I get them back. And it, no big deal, right? I mean, mistakes happen. And 
I'm going to list them again and they're going to sell because it is a relatively rare model of shoes. So the dinosaur shoes, they're going to get relisted. Somebody's going to buy those. But I have already sold a couple of other shoes. You saw in the video, I sold the uh, the, the tent and I sold the air mattress and I sold the bike. Those basically paid off the unit. You know, I, I probably could have priced the bike maybe 75 bucks and eventually got somebody, but uh, I wanted it to move quick. And so $50, I actually had a couple people interested. So $50 was the right price point in order to move that out quickly. Uh, so that right there paid for the unit. And now all of the shoes, 100% profit. And a lot of the shoes were trashed and those were the bigger sizes. The soles were literally coming off the bottom of the shoe. They were falling apart, disintegrating. Uh, a, a lot of those were not great right unfortunately and then uh, i've still got to go through i've got a few left that i've got to sort just to make sure but it looks like i don't have matching pairs for quite a few of them as well now you can sell single shoes online uh, I, I may try it if there are a couple in there that are higher end and they're better shoes you sometimes can sell the single shoe so we may give that a shot i haven't dug through those yet to see if that's what we're going to do i do still have some stuff to go through went through that uh milk crate with the music and stuff in it. Most of that was recorded, though I did find a few things that were in there that were worth listing. A couple of uh, CDs that I listed that have relatively good sell-through rates, though not real high dollar. And then there's actually the soundtrack to uh, Spyro, the video game. Seems like it's relatively rare. There's none out there right now. I did find, uh, I think, a couple on Worth Point. So priced it a little bit high, and we'll see what happens. But a uh, cool little find there. We priced a little My Little Kitty plush thing. Those things sell really well. I priced it up a little bit. I think we had to get at least 10 bucks for it. So, you know, th that's a nice little find in there that I wasn't expecting. The poster, got home, and yeah, it was the, uh, the classic Michael Jordan Wings poster but it was a reprint. It was not the original. If you find one of the originals, it has Nike on it and the swoosh underneath. Those are the originals. And those will sell for like a hundred bucks or more, depending on condition. Uh, the, the new stuff, the reprint stuff, especially if it's wrecked like that was, that's no, no value there, unfortunately. Um, we got the PlayStation remote. I have not listed that yet. I've got to look through also all of those cables and make sure that there's nothing in there that's worth keeping. That's going to take a little bit. I've got to go through all of the cards. There are a ton of cards in there. And I think there are some worth listing. You know, there are some in the loaders and, you know, a lot of those are like junk era cards, but even then you can lot them up and sell them locally on Facebook. Um, I, I think what I'm going to do is go through and Pull the good stuff out of there uh, and, and put that on Whatnot. I'm not a card guy uh, so much. So Whatnot enables me to really show the condition of the cards and make sure that the person getting them knows what they're getting. So I think we're going to do some card stuff on Whatnot. And a lot of the stuff that we're going to do on there is actually, I think, the non-sports cards. It looked like there was just some pop culture movie type of stuff in there. And so non-traditional cards, non-sports cards, uh, I'm going to sort through those, make some sets, and we'll see if uh, folks on whatnot want to pick those up. If not, it's fine. We've already made our money off of the unit and we're making more when those shoes sell. So we're going to make several hundred dollars off of all of that stuff. And then actually today, as I'm recording this, I went through the magazines. Now I sort of just discounted the magazines when I looked at them, like, eh, it's probably nothing. But once I actually started flipping through each one of them, I realized there's actually some value here. Uh, I went through and I listed about two dozen of them. There was probably a dozen, 12, 15, something in that range that were either catalogs that were no good or just the magazine was very common or it, it was a wrecked magazine, whatever it is. Uh, there, there were some that I had to throw away. But there were some NBA magazines that were actually pretty solid. There were a couple of uh, shoe magazines. I think there was one like high-end car, like Porsche or something, listed that. Now, a lot of these are like $10, $15 in, in that range, but I'm fine selling that. You guys see the stuff that I sell. Um, but there are some higher-end stuff, some mid to late 90s, early 2000s hip-hop magazines. And some of those are pretty rare. Like there are no listed items of, of that particular issue, or there are one or two and some of them have some solds. Now, I actually found the uh, uh, one magazine that had Tupac on there. There is a sold on worth point of $80 for that magazine. So I listed it relatively high. We'll see how that, uh, how that works out. It's not in great condition, but it's in pretty good condition. And it's 
pretty rare. Uh, the uh, the cards, I didn't look close enough at those either. They, they weren't cards. It was Panini. It was uh, the 1990-91 Panini, the, the album, and they came with stickers. And when I went through and I counted, they're all there. It came with, I think it was 180, 150, 180. I don't remember. I, I double-checked. All the stickers were there, and they're not peeled off. They're not used. There are, and they're really the most valuable, is Michael Jordan. And uh, there are some Michael Jordan, just the single sticker from that set that's in mint condition has sold for like 15 bucks. And I've got all three of the Jordans in that set and all of the stickers that go with it and the album. Those are sort of uh, superfluous, really. I mean, everybody that gets it really wants the Jordans. There are uh, others on there as well, but those are sort of the gold star of it, and we've got those. And so I priced that up a little bit, and we'll see how that goes. You know, I, I think we'll make money off of that as well. So for our first unit, I'm thrilled. You know, I, I think we did really well. Lots of stuff to go through. There's certainly a lot of work involved when you buy storage units, and I don't want you to think, well, Mountain Man never bought one before. He bought one and he made hundreds of dollars. I mean, we, I didn't add it all up. We might make $1,000 off of this unit, potentially. That's not going to happen every time. I'm going to go out there and buy a dud or, you know, I might just make my money back or, you know, it's a, it's a gamble buying those units. You can make educated guesses on what's in there. And I did that with this one. I was pretty sure that we'd be able to make our money back at least, but I didn't know how much we'd make after that. It turns out we're going to make a little bit. So I appreciate it. a little bit of a different video. I don't know how often we're going to be buying storage units, but uh, now I've done it and I kind of get how the process works and I can do it again and maybe make some more money, maybe make some more videos. You guys let me know if that's something that you would like to see. We'll look at maybe doing that again in the future. So I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you hanging out with me. Hit that thumb on your way out. That helps me out a ton. Comment down below. That helps me out a lot also. And I'll see you next time. Bye.